Hey farmers! Hey, and in this video, we're going to be doing a little tutorial on the brand new machine, the Preservation Station, by God in the game by the recent update. I'm so excited. Let's get started. So, let's see. Um, I was sending some trucks. As you guys know, we're having this really cool Halloween event. Um, so, let's just send some trucks. Sir. I'm going to check these visitors. Hi, I'm shopping for Grandma. Girl, you need so many saws. And, oh my God. I just can't do anything about these visitors. Good afternoon. Looking to buy... Up uh, no, sorry. Ew, I have my town package there. I don't know what I'm gonna get, so let's just check it out. I don't really like these packages, but I have no idea why did I even order this. Okay, that was completely useless. Like one break, no, I don't even need that. So yeah, let's just harvest my crops quickly. I've got some carrots and pepper over here. Oh, we just got a saw. Sorry, that was an axe, not the saw. Um, okay, and what about this little carrot piece there? Right, so we need to plant, and let me just have a look at the crops that I'm missing. Okay, I think I'll go with some, yeah, let's plant some garlic, and maybe I'll go with some cabbage. Or I guess I should wait till I could, you know, unlock the machine. So, uh, can I do, no, I can do this. Let me just collect my peanuts quickly. Okay, and we're going to wake up our pets, so let's start from my bunnies. Uh, I just got a nail for my bunnies. Let's go over here to my donkeys. I just got tape. What about my cute puppies? Okay, that was bolt. So two bolts and one wood panel. Really awesome. Let's go over here to my dogs. Let's see what we get from here. Another land deed. Oh my god, so many bolts I'm getting from here. And finally, my horses. My expectations are really high from the horses, and I just got... Okay, I just got one degree, at least something that I actually need. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this boat, you guys. I've been skipping boats like crazy. I haven't been completing them. I don't know. Like, I've, I've just been getting so many tough boats. Like, you can see, this is a pretty tough boat. Like, jams, ice cream, and cakes at the same time. That's insane. I can't do that. It's truck even, so I don't know what to do. Like, I've been just so stuck. So, I've, just, I've not been doing boats. But, yeah. Okay, I'll just leave that there. Um, let's collect my dairy quickly. Let's see what else I can do. I'm just gonna collect some products over here. Let's make more bread. And we could make some, let me see. I guess I need to make more mayonnaise and some olive oil. Let's just uh, run these machines quickly as well. Let's make more fresh pasta. I could do a little sugars over here. Oh my god, I have like so many sugars. You can see I've got a lot of barn space now, and yesterday my barn was completely full. That's what happens when you send a lot of trucks. Okay, so I guess the basic farming is done, and now we're going to come to the brand new machine, which you guys can see right here. So a little background information about this machine. This machine is the latest machine in the game. Uh, it's called the Preservation Station, which produces preserved goods, as you can see at the top, at the bottom left corner. This unlocks at level 91, which is currently the highest level machine. Its cost is 950,000 gold coins, and the total time that it takes to build is 4 days. So you can see that there's only 1 day 23 hours left, or I could spend 45 diamonds. Apparently that's what I'm going to do. I purchased this the day before yesterday. So I'm so excited, and let's just unlock this on 3, 2, 1... Ta-da, my 45 diamonds. There we go. So you can see the brand new machine, and I got 44 XP for unwrapping this. The butterflies there. Oh my god, I'm hating rows. Like that little check mark at the top. It's so annoying. Why does it even happen? Ugh. Anyways, you guys, this is a brand new machine. I haven't like touched it yet. I'm going to. Are you guys ready? I'm so excited. Yay, the preservation station. So first of all, let's listen to the audio, the sound of this machine. I'm just going to turn the music off and... I'm oh, sorry. I'm just going to turn the sounds on. Okay, so this is a very wooden sound. It reminds me of, I think, the salad bar. Yeah, the salad bar has the same machine. Or maybe the pasta... No, not the pasta meat, but the, probably the feed mill. Okay, so the new preservation station. Love the design. You can flip it as well. In any direction you want, I think this looks better. So let me just compare the size of this machine. 
So we have these machines, uh, which are like the smallest, and then we have like the ones that are large. So I guess this is also going to be a small machine. Yep, it's in the category of the small machines, which is pretty good. I like the small machines. And it's a very well-made design. I love there's so many little details. You can see the bottles of kimchi, so many pots, and there's that big pot. So first thing you guys know what I'm going to do, let me just turn the volume a little off, and we could turn the sounds on, the music. So, having a look at the mastery, use this machine to earn stars. You can see the first star, you will get 10% more coins from the truck otters. For the second star, you'll get 5% more XP. And the final star, you'll your products will be produced faster. I could spend 670 diamonds to get the star, which I am not going to do. That's going to be crazy. Anyways, the first thing that I always do after unlocking a new machine is I immediately open the slots because that helps me to make more items faster so that's going to cost me 18 21 and 24 diamonds there we go that was a lot of diamonds um so let's talk about the products you guys by the way if you want to know the levels please check my previous videos i don't quite remember the levels but we're just going to be talking about the general information about this machine now so the first product is the pickle you can see over here uh gets ready in four hours ingredients are three pickles I'm sorry, three cucumbers, one lemon, and two onions. Very nice. Let's just make it. And I'm going to... Okay. You know what? I'm just going to... Uh. So let's just make it. Oh, wow. I love the sound, you know? That little liquidy sound. And you can see the machine is now working. It's basically the lid of the pot is jumping and something is being cooked inside. There's actually something inside this pot. I think those are bottles. Yeah, like, these, this is actually a preserved station. Really, it's not really creating something new. It's just, like, making your food more sour and just protecting your food. So, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it's cool. Okay, so seven diamonds. I'm just going to spend right now to see how much XP do I get from this product. So one pickle, we get 32 XP, which is very cool. Then we'll go to the shop and have a look at their statix. And I will show you guys if these products are profitable, if you have to sell them or not. You can see I've already run it for four hours, which is insane. Um, okay, so the next is the canned fish. Uh, you need two fish fillets, one pepper, and one olive oil. And it's going to take three hours and 40 minutes to be produced. Thank God I have one olive oil. I don't know what was going to happen if I didn't. So let's just make it as well. And it costs seven diamonds as well to speed it up. So I guess I'm going to spend seven more. So 56 XP for one canned fish. Ooh, that was a lot, actually. That was a lot of XP for one product, I guess. Okay, the next uh, product, which seems to be a product of most of the people that I've seen, uh, the kimchi. Okay, so you need five cabbage. Lots of cabbage is going to get used here. One garlic, uh, one ginger, and one pepper. Okay, five hours. Let's make this. Oh, it costs eight diamonds. Okay, we're just going to spend eight diamonds there. 26 XP for the kimchi. Oh, that's not profitable at all in the sense of XP. That was not a lot of XP. Even I got more XP from the panfish, right? And the final product is the dried fruit, which I guess unlocked at level 102. I think so. Again, I'm not sure. You can check my previous videos for more details, of course. So the dried fruit costs, um, you need one strawberry, one raspberry, one grape, and one orange to make this. And it's going to take three hours. Uh, we can spend six diamonds to speed it up. Okay, 32 XP. So currently, the most amount of XP you're getting from any of these products is the canned fish. So make sure if you want to get more XP, you can just produce the canned fish. So this is actually a high-level machine. I'm sorry if you're a low-level or you still didn't get this machine. Don't worry, you low-level players still have a lot to do. So just make sure that you work on what is possible at your level. Don't really think a lot about the next upcoming things. You will get them eventually when you will reach that stage. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to check their Statix of the Roadside Shop. I'm going to show you guys if these products are worth selling or not. I guess, I mean, their time is a lot. So first we have the pickles. One pickle for 270 coins and basically 10 will be for 2700. In my opinion, it's totally not worth selling. Easy to make, but seriously, you take like four hours to make this. And then what you get is just 270 coins or 2700 coins for 10 that's not good at all so i really don't recommend selling this save this product for your truck otters 
or maybe for your town. Next was the canned fish, which I'm sure is going to be pretty high. So let's see. Oh my God. Okay. So this is $4.71. Um, a pretty expensive product. You could sell this. I really don't recommend this, but you could sell it since it's a good way to make coins. Uh, but the main problem is that the ingredients are going to be a little tough, like fish fillets and olive oil. You don't always have those products. Next is the kimchi, which is two nineteen. Definitely not worth selling at all. The time is like five hours and coins. Those are so low. And the final one is the dried fruits. Now you could sell this. This is really simple to make. All it needs just the vegetables and the fruits. Only thing that is uh, considerable is the amount of time that it takes, like three hours. So that was all about the statics. Overall, I don't really recommend selling any of these products. Like I'm not going to sell. So one thing you guys must have noticed, all these products take a lot of time to make. And most of them are easy to make, except the canned fish. So pretty obvious that this machine is going to be very, very easy to be fully mastered. It's not going to be a challenge at all. It's just a piece of cake for me. Like, you guys can see the fondue pot over here. It's so hard to fully master. Like you guys can see this machine was added in March 2020, and I still have not got my second star. And most of the people on this machine, like, they have not fully mastered this machine. It's, like, the toughest machine to fully master. But the canned fish... Uh, but the preservation station is going to be really, really easy to fully master. So I'm not sure about the mastery. The first uh, star, you have to run it for 140 hours. I think that's the same as the donut maker. Let me just have a look. And yeah, as you can see, this is my donut maker. Yeah, so 140 hours, the same. But like, I'm not sure about the next hours. So if anyone knows the mastery hours, please let me know in the comments. That would be very helpful. Um, so yeah, that was all about this machine, you guys. It's the preserved station. I guess I'm gonna make more products now. Let's just, uh, randomly put the items. It's gonna take, like, for... Wait, that's 20? Oh, these products are gonna take, like, so long time. These products are gonna take a really long time. So it's gonna be very hard to actually manage all the products. And I'm just gonna put it over here. Yeah, that looks cool. I really love when it's working. Like, it looks so small, but so cute at the same time. So yeah, that was all about this brand new machine, the Preserved Station, which unlocks at level 91. It costs 950,000 gold coins, and it takes four days to be manufactured. Um, I love this machine, and I love the concept of this machine. Of course, all the products are really, really cool. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions related to this machine, let me know in the comments. And subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more Haiti videos coming. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.